Alright there guys, this is Dan here with Grapevine Recording and I'd like to welcome you all to our quick tip series. In this series of videos we are going to be looking at one mixing tip throughout the, uh, for every day throughout the month of January. We're going to start the year off right. Uh, in this first video we're going to be looking at the importance of gain staging within your DAW. Well, within your entire recording system to be fair. This is extremely, extremely important to get right and it's something that can really set the precedent to how well your DAW is going to be able to perform throughout the rest of the mixing process so here we have a uh, we have a track it is a song called floating in the binary by a band called Loki and um, they very kindly let me use this song for this series so you're gonna hear it a fair bit hopefully by the end of the series we will have a song mixed which will be pretty ideal but um, as you can see it's just a very simple setup Nothing too mad. And if we press play, let's get to the louder bit. With a one dimension train of thought, locomotive rhythm and an underwhelming car. As you can see over here on our master meter, we're looking at around f minus 5 dB of uh, gain as the um, minus 5, uh, 4.5 as the peak level. In this signal which is okay um, if for example we wanted to lower something down you can always uh, there are many different ways that you can do it you can set them up into an auxiliary track and just lower them down like that but the problem is and the one thing that you need to get right is of course there's the whole issue with the noise floor which isn't really a problem with us considering that we are now working in you know a 24-bit recording system and you know we do want to be able to record hot enough so we can keep the dynamic range as high as possible the dynamic range is the difference between the highest peak signal and the noise floor and the um, the greater that distance is you know the higher the dynamic range is which is pretty good for what we want um but the problem is is that the metering on the aws aren't entirely great you know the way the faders work as you can see here over on this fader you know, you've got 0 dB, minus 5, minus 10. But if you look down here, it starts going 20, 30, 40, 60. And just little movements like that could be, you know, 10 dB of uh, of level change, which is not really what we want. Ideally, we want to keep the fader up here, if possible. So if we just play the, the kick drum, for example, you know, that, again, is coming in at around, you know... Um, minus 8 db but if we wanted to make that lower instead of dragging it all the way down to the bottom where the fader system isn't you know that uh, the fader clarity isn't going to be that good what we can do is we can go into our plugins and find this plugin here by avid called trim and what this does is literally just allows us to trim the signal down as an insert which allows us to retain the clarity of our fader but get the desired effect on the insert point which is really easy really easy to do and it's really effective so i always like to in my opinion over here where i've got like me effects like me reverb delay and parallel compression chain i always have trim at the end of it so in case like i'm sending things that are too hot to the reverb and you know that's now coming in very hot down here i can just instead of adjusting me fader i can just trim it by three three db which keeps me faded exactly where it is, but gains that effect, which is perfect for what we want. So it's definitely worth checking out. Hopefully, you're going to. Um, it might be very useful actually to utilize some of these tips as I tell them. But we're going to be doing one every day for the month of January. Hopefully, you will enjoy this. Please remember to subscribe and to like this video if you did find it useful. Of course, if there's any questions, please let me know in the comments. But this has been Dan with Grapevine Recording. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.